We're first at five, all eyes of the political world are honing in on South Carolina as we are now five days away from the GOP primary. And thanks for joining us for the news at five. I'm Jane Monreal. Both former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley continuing to rally voters in the Palmetto State. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker joining us live now from York County in Austin. Saturday, big moment for both candidates. Yeah, very big moment. The nation's eyes are set on South Carolina and the two remaining candidates, they understand that because they are prioritizing the Palmetto State. Now, even though that this is Haley's home state, she is losing in the projections from recent polling data to President Trump by more than 30 points. The race for the Republican nominee making an important stop in South Carolina Saturday. Both candidates banking on voters. But it begs the question, why is South Carolina so important on the national stage? Former Meet the Press moderator Chuck Todd says Republican politics have always gone through the state. We talk about Iowa, we talk about New Hampshire. Plenty of Republicans have won Iowa and not been the nominee. Plenty of Republicans have won New Hampshire and not been the nominee. I'm trying to think of the last time a Republican didn't that somehow lost South Carolina and didn't end up the uh, and ended up the nominee. It just doesn't happen. It's a great day in South Carolina. With that in mind, Haley at multiple campaign events in Rock Hill, Lancaster, and Columbia, focusing on international policies, abortion rights, and the crisis at the border. The people they hire are in this country legally. We need to defund sanctuary cities once and for all. While this is Haley's home state, she's not receiving endorsements from top South Carolina politicians like current Governor Henry McMaster, Senator Tim Scott, and Representative Nancy Mace. Something she says she isn't worried about. No doubt, I love this land. Instead, the three are backing former President Trump. We have to get out. We have to let him know that a freight train is coming in November. Trump making a stop in Charleston last week and is back on Friday in Rock Hill, the day before the primary. Again, that most recent polling data shows that Haley is far behind President Trump in the Palmetto State, but she has always said that one state does not determine the outcome of the election. We'll make sure to update you with the latest. We are following the campaign trail very closely, so stick with us right here on WCNC Charlotte. For now, we're live in York County, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.